what to say about what happened inside a church school at about 10 o'clock this morning. Three little kids, three school employees, shot dead by a woman. It's come to that now. I realize that what I am saying right now sounds incredibly sexist, but I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I can't help it. I mean, a female assassin is not something we've come to be familiar with. God help us in school shootings or mass killings. It's usually a disaffected young white male, but not this time. Not this time. So the way it was originally reported, a heavily armed woman entered this Christian school in Nashville, fatally shot three children and three staff members before she was shot and killed by the police. By now, I'm sure the woman has been identified. The Covenant School, where she opened fire, serves about 200 students from preschool through the sixth grade. Apparently, the woman is 28. The first report said she appeared to be a teenager. She was armed, and again, these are early reports. She was armed with two assault rifles and a handgun. She entered through a side door. Um, and when officers arrived, they immediately responded. They heard shooting coming from the second floor, and that's where they went. Um, I guess those are the, the bare bones. The, the three little kids. I mean, when this came over MSNBC this morning... I could just feel a, a sense of grief and sadness and horror and an enormous amount of rage, the rage directed against anyone and everyone who advocates violence in this country as the filthy pig Donald Trump did at his rally in Waco on Saturday night. Violence, violence, violence. Leadership of this country, the white fascist male so-called Christian leadership of this country is pushing and pushing against the people in this country who are weak to begin with, who are mentally deranged to begin with, or they wouldn't respond to this psychotic bastard Trump. Alex Jones and the rest of these scum, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the rest of this filth, they keep pushing and pushing against weak, mentally unstable people. And we have tens of millions of them in this country. And they're all heavily armed. But Trump... And every piece of human waste from him all the way down into the sewers of the U.S. Congress keep pushing and pushing more violence, more killing, more destruction. I texted Molly this morning after I heard about this, my 18-year-old who's in school. And I texted her and I said, Molly, I don't know if I can keep living in this country much longer. I know, I've said that before. But there is not a single school, theater, house of worship, nightclub, concert venue, movie theater, college campus, shopping mall, nothing anywhere that is now not vulnerable 
to these psycho son of a bitches with their guns who are being instigated and pushed and pushed and pushed 24 7 by these right wing devils that are all over the place it is like a gateway to hell opened up to use christian um visualization a a, a hell portal opened up and all of these demons came out led by the the chief demon himself, Donald Trump. But I sat there this morning. It's No, it's not about me. I'm just talking about what happened. I sat there this morning and just cried out, out of rage and sorrow for the parents, parents who sent their kids to kindergarten through sixth grade i might my god the oldest kid in that school was what 11 and the congress of the united states led by these christian devils and they are that will not pass legislation, pass a crackdown, remove these weapons of mass death from the hands of the tens of millions of crazy people in this country who don't give a goddamn about children or adults or anybody. They won't do it. We live in a fucking madhouse. Do you get that? I mean, seriously, not all of us are insane. But maybe the person next door is, or or the, when you go to a shopping mall or a grocery store. Look, 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 look what's happened. Where we have to be worried, concerned, suspicious, afraid of people that we might pass in, in a grocery aisle. Or a church pew, if you go to church. Or a synagogue. Or a mosque. Or if you're walking down a dark aisle, holding your bag of popcorn, trying to find your seat. Who are you passing? Does the person have a weapon? Are you going to fucking die within the next 15 minutes before the previews have shown on the screen? And the right-wingers, the Christian fascists, will do nothing to stop it. They do what they can to encourage it. They want this. Because out of this sort of chaos and murder and killing, fascism rises And that's what they're counting on. That's what they're doing. And then look what happened on Friday in the U.S. House. The Christian fascists there narrowly passed. It's it's not going to go into law, but they passed legislation to what they say will give parents greater say in what's taught in public schools. The so-called parents' rights bill, which is garbage and bullshit this bill is part of this nazi movement in this country that has resulted in book bans and restrictions aimed at at gay or transgender kids or people of color and has resulted in violent school board meetings across the country this is what the son of a bitches are pushing for Oh, God. They even tried to add an amendment to this goddamn thing that would have abolished the Department of Education. 
and they want school vouchers to destroy public education, just destroy it and replace it with this violent, racist, filthy, Christian, fascist insanity. And meanwhile, the shooting continues. The killing continues. It just goes on and on and on. There's nothing going to stop it, is there? That, that's the, the, the horrifying, horrifying part of this. Nothing, nothing, as long as these Christian demons are in power, nothing is going to stop the next one or the one after that. You have children in school. You put their lives at risk when they get on the school bus or you drop them off in the school parking lot. You like to go to a club once in a while? like to um, go hear a concert, go to a movie? You find it necessary to go shopping once in a while? Do you go heavily armed? This is what they've done to us. This is what the Christian terrorists in this country have done. They have made me and God knows how many hundreds of millions of people afraid to walk the street or to go to a venue of any sort without the thought in the back of my mind and possibly yours, will I be able to get in here, buy my bread and milk and eggs and check out and get to the fucking car before I'm shot? You haven't reached that point yet? I have. I reached that point some time ago. So I hear this this morning, and, and my first thought after the shock, after the shock of hearing it again, my first thought is always, what about the parents? What about the mothers and fathers that got their kids dressed or helped them get dressed, maybe packed them a lunch and sent them off to school? Did they kiss them goodbye? Did mom or dad say, I'll meet you at the school bus? Or did they say, I'll come by the school and pick you up? God Damn it. Damn it. And I think about all the high school kids who have been down, slaughtered. Because we have advocates for violence and destruction and in this country, and they're all over the place. This crazy goddamn senator now, Marsha Blackburn in Tennessee. Oh, wasn't she upset? And yet Marsha Blackburn will vote against every single attempt to get these weapons off the streets, out of the hands of people who don't goddamn need them. So save your crocodile tears, Marsha Blackburn, senator from Tennessee. You turn my stomach, you and the rest of you, right-wing, so-called Christian Nazi bastards who continue to perpetrate this stuff with your violent rhetoric and your refusal to do anything about it where it concerns your power as a senator or a representative. You will do nothing, nothing. And the death toll continues to go up. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy. 
24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.